and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. Now, things happen, and as machinists, we often have to start a program right in the middle, at the worst possible place. Well, maybe your power's gone out, or maybe you've broken a tool, or like me right now, you've got a mold set up and you want to rerun a finish pass, uh, but you don't want to start at the very beginning of that tool. It would take forever. Well, Haas has made this incredibly easy for us. This is one of those tips that every Haas machinist should know about. There are a few complicated ways to start a program right in the middle, right in the middle of a tool, but we're going to cut right to the easiest and safest way possible. We're going to go ahead and go to our settings page, search for setting 36, program restart, and turn it on. Now, no matter where we start at in our program, mill or lathe, this will work on your lathe too, folks, the controller is going to pre-scan the entire program, and it's going to turn on all the codes necessary to run in the background. So let's walk through this once. I've got a mold loaded up in my machine, and it's already been roughed out. But something happened. Something happened right around line 700,000 in this program. My ball nose was running its finish pass, and we'll play into the California stereotype and say that we had an earthquake and lost power. Oh my God. Okay, so I could restart at the beginning of that finish pass tool, but we'd lose hours of machine time, right? That's a, that's a lot of wasted time. I want to start right where I left off. So we could go to our program, go to about line 700,000, and add some safe startup lines, some tool changes, some uh, HMT and, and feed rates, F codes. Uh, but that's complicated, right? We want something simple and not dangerous, right? And we've got that with setting 36, program restart. All we've got to do is make sure that program restart is on, then go to the line that we want to start on, uh, line 700,000 in our case. When the program gets to that line 700,000, we're going to go into memory. After we've made sure that setting 36 is on, close the doors and press cycle start. The control scans my program, even reading any sub-programs or macros. Next, it rapids to my tool change position. Now, it might do a tool change to the previous tool if you were on a tool change line. It then restarts the spindle and turns on the coolant along with any other M code functions that were turned on earlier. The machine then rapids where it needs to go, all axes except for the Z axes. Finally, it rapids just above the part in the Z axis, feeds down at your program feed rate, and then continues on with your program normally from there. Well, that's it. We use program restart on our mold base. Now, some of you might be asking, uh, how did I know to start on line N700,000? Uh, really hard to explain. Um, on our mold, I knew that it failed right about four inches from the top of my part. So I scanned through my program and started at that point when I found that, that XY position that matched where I wanted to start. On your part, it's going to be a little bit different. So every part's different, you're going to have to work on that. But one more example that I'd like to show you, it's happened to me uh, a number of times over the years. I've had a long row of holes, and then something's happened. Um, I've run out of coolant, or I've broken a tap. Now I've got this long row of holes, and I want to start my tap you know, halfway through the can cycle, not at the beginning. I want to hit holes four and five, not holes one, two, and three. Well, this is easy with program restart. Just make sure setting 36 is on, and then go to your control, highlight the hole right in the middle of your G84 tapping cycle that you'd like to start tapping at, and press cycle start. The machine's going to move that tap right above the, the previous hole, and then it's going to continue on, tapping from there forward. This can save you a lot of time and effort. Program restart, lots of uses. Well, let me give you a few tips that'll make uh, using program restart easier on you. Uh, number one, I always like to put it in single block and set my position screen to distance to go, just so I can visually see how far things will move before I hit that green button. This is useful with program restart. Uh, next, I usually don't leave setting 36 on all the time. I'm used to a job shop environment, and I start um, at the top of my tool often, and I don't like watching it pre-scan my programs. It just takes some amount of time. So I usually leave setting 36 off unless I'm actually ready to use it. Now, with that said, there are a lot of shops that'll leave setting 36 on all the time, and, and that's just fine. Finally, um, if you run program restart from a tool change line, let's say M6T5, 
the control is going to switch tools to the last tool called and then switch back to the tool that you want. The reason it's doing this is that it's setting the entire machine back to exactly the way it was on the previous line before continuing with the program. This is expected, this is normal. If you don't want to see that, that odd phantom tool change, just start a couple lines after your tool change. And again, make sure that setting 36 is on. Well, setting 36 is one of those super useful settings that can really save you a lot of time. It allows you to start anywhere you want in your program, mill or lathe, instead of having to edit that program or start way back at the beginning of your tool, or worse, at the beginning of your program. Well, that's it, and thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.